just me or have I worn this sweater in like my last nine YouTube videos? Laziness at its finest. Starring me. Uh, is my microphone on? <laughs> you know when you're in the gray area between you're not sure if you need to wash your hair again? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a favorites video. I'm going to be going through and showing you guys some of my favorite things. And for the first time in forever. What? Frozen? Without further ado, let's get on into it. My first favorite is this blanket. This blanket is actually from a shoot that I just did because I partnered with Hallmark Gold Crown Stores and we filmed a gift guide video over on their platform that's like what to get all the ladies in your life. So it's like your grandma, like your best friend, like your sister, all of that kind of stuff. And this was one of the gifts that I featured as my favorite and then I convinced them to give me this blanket because I'm so incredibly obsessed with it. You know how models always talk about how they like steal clothes from photo shoots? Yeah. I just bribe people to give me wrapping paper. Yeah, that's me. You know, cards too. I don't even have this many friends, but <gasps> actually I might have this many friends now. Oh, life. How we change. I'll link the blanket down below for you guys as well as the rest of my favorite products that I mentioned in this video. But don't forget to check out the Hallmark and Communities YouTube channel to see the rest of the gift guide if you're strapped for ideas. I mean, I think we covered everyone. Literally all of the ladies. And I love ladies, because I'm a lady. We're gonna go on to fashion favorites, mostly because the bottom of these shoes is touching the makeup I'm gonna talk about, so I feel like we should stop that. Next are these pair of boots. Got them from Nordstrom. I literally wear these ones or the black ones every single day. Ah, did you hear that neck crack? My next fashion favorite is this giant sweater coat, like a swoat. I don't really know what you would, are my boots showing? No. I don't really know what you would call this because it's like a thicker than a cardigan, but it's not a coat. It's like what LAP would be like, oh, my winter coat. It's from Madewell. I'm obsessed. It's like this long camel color. I'm not kidding. I literally wear those shoes and this coat every single, I wear the same outfit every day. Little dark black jeans. Dark black, obviously make it black, it's dark. Smart, S stay in school, kids. I also just bought this in gray as well. And it smells like me. Ooh, actually, that smells like an airplane. <laughs> My hair looks like how. To, oh, that's pretty. That's pretty, pretty terrible. Fudge sickles and Buddy the Elf. <gasps> Is this too much? Like I've given up and I flopped in like 2014. Serving irrelevant vibes. Whatever. This next favorite is the purse that I've been carrying. Posted about it on Instagram, but I've literally been carrying it every single day. Um, it's from All Saints, and it's got this like short strap, which reminds me of like this hobo bag that I had from Lucky Brand when I was in like seventh grade. It was super fetch. This is a really random favorite, but I wanted to show it. It's a gold narwhal. It's from CB2. You can put a candle tea light in here, and I'm obsessed with it. It's my favorite animal, and it is so underrated. So surprisingly, I actually have like a ton of beauty favorites. So I'm gonna go through them pretty quickly. The first one are my nails. I'm gonna hide the one that actually broke. They're these like light, light, light baby blue matte nails that have little white polka dots on the bottom. <sighs> I'm obsessed. I have five makeup palettes that I'm gonna talk about. Who am I, Jaclyn Hill? <laughs> no, I wish. Like really, really, I wish. First is this palette from Smashbox. It's this is a blush and highlight contour palette. Ow. Ugh. This next palette actually isn't that new, but this is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette, and it's just like their fully matte palette. These next two are from Tarte. This is the Tartist Pro eyeshadow palette. Next is also one of the Tartist Pro palettes, but this is the Pro Glow palette, and it has four highlighters and two contours in it. Not me all. This is from the Estee Edit by Estee Lauder, and this is their Glow Face and Eye Palette. <gasps> Again, I love it. My hair literally looks like the first time I ever straightened my hair, and I was like, wow, this is so cool. Next makeup product is a rediscovery in my collection, and this is the Tarte Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. I think it looks so good. Like if I'm like, ooh, you look like crap right now, throw a little tinted moisturizer, and I'm like, eh, like, you've seen better days. Was this worth it? Maybe you should just put sunglasses on. And then I put a little of this on, and I'm like, okay, you're a respectable human being. Um, and I have lost both caps of these. Is that just me, or does everyone else do that too? Tarte the Brow Architect Brow Shaper, Liner, and Definer. Oh, ooh, wait, what's that? Whoa, I didn't know that was a thing. Is that concealer? I've never tried that part. Then holding my next favorite. I'm not holding my next favorite anymore. I've been drawing in my eyebrows. I feel very like, you know, like Sharpie, like, do I still say drawing them in? I've been applying my eyebrows? God, I feel like Liza. 
Um, I've been using this to like try and get even like somewhere close to like the people who have like amazing eyebrows. My last beauty related favorite is this brush from Marc Jacobs. It's a contour brush and it's just really soft. That's why I like it. My favorite TV show of the month is obviously Gilmore Girls Revival on Netflix. Uh, if you didn't see, I actually did a video where I interviewed the cast of Gilmore Girls. I know. My book recommendation of the month is Scrappy Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick. I've been listening to it on audible.com and if you guys don't want to listen, you can use the code audible.com slash Megan for a 30 day free trial. There's something so cool about like actually hearing the person who wrote the book, like say the words aloud. And especially when it's like a celebrity or something like that, who like you recognize or anything like that or that kind of story and you hear them in their own words, say their own words, I think it's awesome. So I personally kind of lean towards those kinds of books when I listen to audiobooks, but there are so many other books on Audible. So if you want to figure out another book you want to read, drop it down below. And my final favorite of the month is the thing I'm actually sitting on right now, which is a new mattress that I got from Casper. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I actually got this back in October when my friend Aislinn came to stay with me and they delivered it so incredibly quickly. And Aislinn and I just like set it up and it was the easiest thing ever. We didn't need to phone any of the boys for help or anything like that. We did it all ourselves, but I will have Casper linked down below if you guys want to check it out. I highly recommend it. And with that, my rambling rambly favorites video is done i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and to let me know that you liked it again i will have everything that i talked about listed in the down bar along with direct links as long as i can find them to where you can buy everything just because that's how i like to watch youtube videos so check the down bar it's lit fam is that what the kids are saying i don't know if you want to keep up with me in between uploads, you can follow me on all of my social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, all of those things. But you can also follow me on my blog channel where you can see more of like a personal behind the scenes sort of thing of my life. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you later. Bye.